Well, hello everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play of No Man's Sky. This is episode 180. Okay, I'm reading up about the space only. Apparently it's something random. So apparently the switch I need is on there and it's something random. That is just ridiculous. What I'm reading is basically you have to control the tutorial, fix your chip. Well, obviously I'm way, way past that. And carry on with the main story and they're randomly going to pop up. Once you've met one for the first time, you can use it anytime you want. That's the gist I'm getting from this. So basically, you move along and apparently get to access to the Atlantis interface, whatever that means. And then you have a chance for it to randomly pop up, and once it's popped up, you can call it any time you want. So my floor switch I need, apparently, is on this, thi this, this a random thing. So my base is screwed until I find this random thing. Absolutely pathetic. Well, there's someone up here. Has the blueprints. Are you a mission? You're gonna have a blueprint for good missions. Yeah, like I said, I'm losing patience with this. Getting more and more and more and more. Okay, let's look around the shop, people. Who are you? Friend? Okay. You'll be through the poof of it. Yeah, whatever. I become aware of the thin mist surrounding them. It is lightly almost pleasantly scented. I cannot but feel a deep appreciation. Practice language skills. No, it goes to listening. Starship. Seems passionate about the subject. They chat happily about current financial trends in the technology market. He's very happy. That's really nice, but doesn't help me get my doors fixed, does it? Who are you? Interloper? It's on it, okay. The warrior seems less aggressive than I might expect. The lips curl over the teeth as they taste my scent. That'll look out. A list of symbols each seeming to represent a word I might learn. Technology. Learn the black word for multi tool. Nice. Can we do this again? Yeah, so maybe I can ask him for a word over there though. Uh, guns apology, they have no direction to provide. Uh, I was just clicking it, I think I should have gone for the, the war thing, whatever. Ew! He will teach me a word like he did. Oh, I can do more. Mm, trade? Offer, okay. Reward. Okay, later language. Clap the hands appropriately. Okay. Guess we're learning languages, people. That's what you say. Electric life form shakes with excitement. The grasp of the air before themselves, seeing something that I cannot see. Dialogue help. They've had to play lots of language symbols. Friendship. Covered the word for what? That went too fast. What did I just learn? That went too fast. One. Stares at me unflinchingly. Their surface face is unreadable. There's the shops up here. What are you? Mission agent. MV. Beware. Expert interloper. Told to me and mark them out as a, as a mercenary. Hopefully, I'll hear in some official capacity rather than undertaking a mission. Is that it? Wow, that was a great shop. Okay, the other side thinks more shops.
Hello. Open up. No. Okay. You're a multitude guy. Technology merchant. Please say you've got the stuff, because if it is on this stupid normally nexus thing, it's pathetic. Interloper too. Okay. Which upgrade modules. What is the Mining beam scanning. No, I just have to do my multi tool. <sighs> not what I need, not what I need. What about you? What are you selling? I'm assuming you're Starship related. You got stuff behind you, what are you selling? Oh yeah, they have. So you don't have what I want need either. Is Death is 2. Yay, Death 2, yeah, I love Death 2. So you're going to be my vehicle, so again, not what I need, but whatever. Right, interloper. Blob. You gonna be fat? Nope. What are you? Intercell exo uh, grades. Let's just go on. Two hundred forty-one nine nine. Uh, last support module. Movement. Potential improvements include jetpack tank passes, jetpack fuel fishing, and exoskeleton speed boost. Well, that could be quite new. The war protection. Is that upgrade? Okay. This one could be worth getting some stuff from. Radiation. I think I like the. the um, Satellite so upgrade status are known until store is complete. The safety net upgrade to the last four system. I like the movement thing. Buy that. I might get that too, but. Where did he go? Where did he go? Okay, so. I need to make some space. That didn't work. How do I install it? Install E. There we go. Before we do it, so so this is me walking normally. This is me running. This is my jetpack. Okay. Let's see if this enhances it. Should go there, shouldn't it? Really? That's fine. So jetpack tank 109. Sprint recovery time plus percent of fuel fish. Okay. So. So this is my thing. This is me running. That's a bit longer, isn't it? That's definitely longer. Okay, that's me. Already installed each module is unique. Search for specific or rare modules. Okay. Who are you? Can I just get this thingy? You the same guy? Yeah, you are. I don't want to space for that, would be quite neat. I kind of feel this is something here. Oh, great. Nice! Oh, 30,000 units. Yeah. Can I do it again? It's one time thing. Oh! So why can't I do it again? Do you have any upgrades? Okay. So what's this? Parents modifier. Change your race for override the current. No, I don't want to do that. I just want to look at it. Yeah, that's a bit 
on the sun. So what does this do? Starship Alpha and purchase improvement salvage ship. Deploy a target starship. Available operational grade class and storage metal and scraps. What? Claim scraps. Great starship. What's this? To raise storage or improve the starship class, improve storage are free with storage omegans. Purchase storage. How oh, so you can. It's a lot of money. How oh, so you can upgrade the ship you have? Cool. With nanite stuff. Fudge, I want I'd like a hundred of them. I need ninety five ninety tw sorry, ninety five. Twenty five thousand. Fudge. Stuff on this grind is ridiculous. Purchase storage for a thousand. Like I said, if you start from scratch and it has all this stuff here, the game's good. But my, my biggest problem with it is it's not respecting players who've been playing it for a while. It seems like you're here, you start, you get from A to C, and then the game says, brand new update, all you pl players who start from A, here's more stuff for you, amazing. After you guys got to C, you're now back at B, and you've got to grow back to C again. Because we're changing how we're doing it, and we're giving you more stuff. So then you, you, you fight your way up, it basically takes the same length of time, even longer than it took you to get from A to C, to get from B to C now, because they've changed so much. So yeah, you get to C again, you start sniffing D, I can see that D, about to reach out for it, and you update. Oh, you're starting from scratch. Now you can get from A to, you know, A, B, C, D, E, even F. So easy. Go back to me, you've screwed me up again, and I'm back at bloody B. Or maybe B and a half. And now that the new players overtake the old players because they change it so much, when they're making it nice and simple for the new players. That's the gist I'm getting from this. But then it's a catch-22 again, isn't it? Oh, so that means I wipe everything I've done, start a new character. So I'm going to get it easier like them, but then it's update, and then they do the exact same thing to us anyway, so I'm back again, so it's like, you know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why I think I've had it with this game now. It was good initially, and yes, for a new player, they are probably improving it. For us current players, it's they're not respecting us. Like, this Switch thing, a simple way to respect the old players. We've done a big update, we know there's a lot of changes, we know you already have bases, and for that reason, because we'd already registered on our system, you have a base. And now it's going to need power. So here is a free uh, solar panel. Here's a free battery for it. And here's a free switch. Or even better, on top of that, here's the, the free blueprint you need for them. So you get one each free, and here's a blueprint for each one of them. So now you can go off and make more. But at least you can literally get your doors open, have enough power to access your storage, before you go out to find the, the other stuff to, to, for the blueprints they're giving you. Where a new player would have to buy them new blueprints or be given them by doing the quest as they, they level and up the character, whatever the new version you're getting it is. But instead, no. By the way, you can't access your, all your resources now. <laughs> oh yeah, but you need to be build this thing to research. But you can't access the resources you got. <laughs> oh, but now you need power to access them, but now you're trapped because of the doll. Oh, it's just... Oh. By any luck or chance, you won't happen to have blueprint for switches before I give up on this game. It's a bark of princess shows a wellness trade. Yeah, 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 bye. I will say not. I will say not. Not just for the sake of it. Let a look at your starship. Hmm. Oh yeah, technology thing. It's a nice ship too. Got more slots. But again, I use half my money up getting a new multi tool to carry on what I was trying to do, so. I don't know. Where's my spaceship anyway? I might as well save here. And, you know what, I'm thinking this is going to be the last episode of the series. If you want to see more of this, then put it in the comments when this episode's done. Maybe, maybe if you put enough comments on how to access the switches and it works, or where to buy it from, what's easy, maybe I'll, I'll do a new series of this. Maybe I'll come back to it later on, but for now, I think this is it for this series. It's just getting too frustrating. It feels every little achievement I, I, I gain in the game. Uh, again, the devs then patch it, 
to improve it, so to speak. And it actually knocks me back even further and makes it more of a grind. And then I get over that just to get the patch to improve it again. And it knocks me back and makes it more of a grind again. And it's... Uh, I've just had it with it. In general, the game's been fun. But... And as for a new player, I'm sure it'd be great. But right now, I'm just had it with this game. So this is the last one of the series. I believe I'm stopping at 180, aren't I? So it's not bad. 180 for the series. And like I said, if you really, really like the series, really want it back, please put in the comments. Tell me you really want it back. And also, please tell me how to get the bloody stretches. Then maybe, maybe at some point in time, I'll bring it back. But for now, this will be the last one. So, have a great day out there. And if you enjoyed this series, and you with me, it got a bit bland at the end because of all the updates. Um... Say what you think in the comments, and please stay up with the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please watch more. It's not the only space game I do on this channel. I do Starpoint Gemini series. Of course, Star Citizen. You know, it's not the only space game uh, you can watch. Even Starpoint Gemini Three has been on the channel at least one episode when it first came out in early access. So there's other stuff on the channel. But I think this is the end of No More Sky for me. But like I said comments if you really want it back show the support for it and explain how the bloody hell I get a hold of these switches to get back to where it was because I'm just I'm just sick of it I'm just not enjoying it every episode now it's just I'm frustrated I'm frustrated more the grind more the grind more the grind and, uh. anyway uh, thank you for joining me on this ride on No Man's Sky and have a great wonderful day out there if you haven't already see you next I was going to say see you next week. We're not. This is the last episode. See you next week for any of my other shows on this channel. IWD, Star Citizen, Starpoint, you know, Pillars, anything else. See you next week for. But for No One's Sky, maybe I'll see you in the future in this game. Maybe not. I don't know. Have a great wonderful day out there. You've all been awesome. Bye, everybody.